Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We've been talking about how we have abandoned the mission. First things first. You know, the Bible tells us in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. You know why we have abandoned the mission? Or have we abandoned the mission is a better question that I want to put to you. As uh, you worship with, uh, wherever you're at in your local church, ask yourself, have we abandoned the mission? Is it about the mission? Uh, are we about God's business? First things first, have we become so self-absorbed that it's more about our comfort than it is about God's plan? Go make disciples, is what Jesus says, teaching them to observe all I have commanded you, and I am with you always. We do what we want, we go where we want to go, and then we tell God what we want, and we wait on no answer. We go ahead, we do what we want, and we do it because we say, well, we prayed about it. We just go and do what we want, and we think that it is from God because we won't wait on him. We just go ahead and we do it. And we say, well, we prayed about it, and this is what we're going to do. Have you decided to already do something and then pray about it and then go ahead and not wait? You know, Abraham prayed for a son, and God answered that. But it took a long time before it actually happened, 25 years later. There are times that we have to wait on God. You know, in Isaiah 40, verse 31, I love what Isaiah says. But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. My friends, when we are about the mission, we will not grow weary. But when we are about our comfort, we do get tired, we get wore out, we get burned out. The Holy Spirit never gets tired, not ever, because the Holy Spirit is God himself inside of us. But listen to what uh, Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. That's every time. Give thanks in everything. Uh, but this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. My friends, we do not want to abandon the mission and have everything be about our, our self-serving ourselves. And what we do is we decide we're going to do something. We go ahead and do it. But are you praying and fasting about it? Are you actually waiting on God uh, to speak to you before you move? So often we have meetings, we come together, we decide this is what we're going to do. We pray about it, but we've already decided we're going to do it. We don't really wait on the leading of the Spirit of God uh, to show us. And that's really unfortunate. And I think uh, that might be why the mission has been abandoned. I've heard Christians say that God's not leading me uh, to do certain things. But we know what the command is. It's not an option. Go and make disciples. This is not an option. It is a command. And there's no other way around that, my friends. We cannot abandon the mission. There is a lost and dying world out there needing to know uh, Jesus, to come to know him and the eternal life that he offers. We look at the news each and every evening and we uh, see the things that's happening in our world and we talk about it, we complain about it, we talk about each generation. But my friends, the only way uh, that this can become a better world while we're uh, in it now, when Jesus comes back, it will be the type of world that we've always desired. But right now, while we are in this world, the only way this world can become better is that people become followers of Jesus Christ. And he has commanded us uh, to go and make disciples. Let's not abandon the mission. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we're going to talk more about the mission and how 
God has commanded us. Uh, it is not an option.